Okay, so just advancing a five French cobra up towards the left renal artery, and then we'll do a DSA run in the left renal artery. Wire out, please. There we are. Okay, you can see the AML already. And breathe away. So you can see straight away very abnormal blood supply in the lower pole, straight into the AML, and there's an aneurysmal segment just there as well. Okay. So it all seems to be, just stop there, David, all seems to be supplied by this vessel here. Just go back one image, please. Let's see what that's coming off. Right, so it's coming off here. There's a trifurcation, and it's going down. And we've got some smaller vessels here and an aneurysmal segment there. So what I'm going to try and do is put a microcatheter right down distally and then inject some onyx so it'll come back proximally, taking out these branches and the aneurysm. Right, can I have a, the two French prograde, Chewy Bore, single angle GT wire? Okay, so I need to know what the dead space of this prograde catheter is. So I've got a syringe with one mil of saline and I'm just going to slowly inject the saline and see when it comes out the other end and that will give me the dead space. So including the hub, that's about 0 0.4 of a mil dead space. So that's what we need. Okay. So we've got a two French prograde microcatheter through a Chewy Borst adapter which will allow me to uh, stop the catheter backtracking as I advance the wire. So the cob is in a stable position. We're just going to advance the chewy, the uh, just going to advance the prograde into that lower pole renal vessel. Okay, so we're just trying to get down into that lower pole vessel looking promising. Still that right, so we've got the wire down. I'm just going to try and advance the prograde catheter over the wire down to that lower pole. So I'm just retracting the micro catheter. And we'll try and go down one of those more medial branches. So let's have the wire back, please. Just store that. So we're down in a fairly small group of vessels now into there. We'll just do a little DSA run. So if you could just breathe in for me now, please. Breathe out and take a small breath in. Just hold it very still now. Okay, and breathe away, thanks. So this is the onyx being mixed and it's been mixing now for about half an hour, which is more than adequate to mix the onyx up with the tantalum powder. Thank you. So we've got colour-coded syringes, one for the, the yellow one for the DMSO and the white one for the onyx, so we don't get them muddled up. Right, okay, so what have we got there? Let me just so check that. Onyx18. Onyx18. Expires 2018. 2018, yeah, okay, that's fine. So we'll draw the, that was the onyx, we'll draw the onyx up. So actually, I want it vertical, no other way, like that. Thanks. Otherwise, you lose some in the bottom. Okay, so that's our onyx. Now we're going to draw up the DMSO. Yep, DMSO expires 2018. We shouldn't need very much of this. All right, so I'm going to leave that one there for my DMSO. Now, we know the dead space of our microcatheter is about 0.4 mils maximum. So we need to flush the microcatheter through, first of all with saline, then with the DMSO, and then we can start using the onyx. So, right, so we're thoroughly flushed with saline. So we're just injecting the DMSO, approximately 0.4 of a mil. 
Can I have the onyx syringe, please, Paul? We're just filling the hub, so we've got a meniscus of DMSO. And now we're just going to very slowly start injecting because we've got about 0.4 mils of dead space. And as we inject the onyx into the catheter, that DMSO will be being injected out of the other end. So it's important you don't do this too quickly. Okay, so the onyx should be about at the end of the catheter now. So I'm just injecting very, very slowly. And there's a bit of onyx just going off distally from the end of the catheter. And I want that just to flow distally at the moment. Right, so there's a bit come back along the catheter there now. So we're just going to leave it for a minute. going down into the other vessel now. So it's now broken out and it's going down into this parallel vessel. And because the onyx is cohesive and not adhesive, we'll be able to pull this microcatheter back and uh, fill the proximal aneurysm if it doesn't retrogradely fill. So what I really want to do is get the onyx to come back and go into this aneurysm so we can afford to fill all of this and come back all the way up to here. Right, I'm just wondering if that's a normal renal vessel there, so I might stop at that point and we'll have to do a run. So actually what I'm going to do is take out this microcatheter, take the chewy burst off and we'll do a run. Thanks. Breathe away. Actually, I think we're done. It's taken out that aneurysm as well. Yeah, that's perfect. We're done. So we're just going to pop a little clip in here just to prevent any bleeding. So we're just doing some blunt dissection. Thank you. Have the wire. Bit of pushing. Okay. Okay. Okay, finished.